Now let's look at another front in this war, the narrative battle. Since Hamas attacked Israel on Saturday, you've been seeing new horrors every day, from the kidnappings at the music festival to the destroyed kibbutz, and now to the devastation in Gaza. Both sides are sharing images, images that show indescribable horrors. The idea is to highlight the other side's barbarity, to evoke sympathy, and then to justify their side's actions. Drawing moral equivalence in this battle is plain wrong because one side is a military, on the other side is a terrorist organization. This war was triggered by Hamas. That's where this round of violence began. It's important to remember that. Israel's primary target is the Hamas. But Hamas's primary targets were Israeli civilians. You cannot compare the two. Both have accused each other of atrocities. Both have perpetrated them. But all grievances and anger cannot be directed at non-combatants. That is a war crime. It takes ethical and moral clarity to accept what is wrong. Neither Hamas nor their supporters have it.